Hi everyone, it's Neil. Welcome to my camper. And today I'm gonna go through just this a review, sort of, of these. This here, these are the Nupo, N-O-O-P-L. And I've got actually an old version and a new version. And unfortunately, I use my phone for my videos, so I'm unable to actually show you it in use, um, but I can explain it. And also, it wouldn't really do much good anyway because they work with the Air, with the, you have to have the AirPod Pros with the noise cancellation and all that in there to connect to it. But then once you do, what it does is it gives you directional sound. So I'm gonna just gonna, I'll open it up and explain to you what's all in there. Um, I'll just use this one here. They both have basically the same stuff, the older and newer one. The newer one just sounds better and has a better Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity, and not Wi-Fi, but whatever. However, it connects to the phone and stuff. It just sounds a little better. So this is a little device and you can see, I'll show you right here. So this is what the little device looks like. It looks like this. And this one actually has one of the little, um, connectors on it so you see right there I can take it off and so these you put this on depending on which phone you have so it'll connect up to the speakers so it'll uh, be close up the in there and it'll uh, listen in on the speakers um, part of it so that's what that is but then also I'll show you here in the box what it comes with here is under under this you've got uh, three different other options you have for the iPhone 12 iPhone 11 and other models and just depending on what case you have um, also like, so whatever the one I have, I'm just using the one that it comes with here because my, I have a case on it that I guess is just the right size. So this just fits right on there perfectly. And so, okay. So, and then it comes with a little case here just to zip it up in there. Um, and I'll show you just the little case for it. So you can carry it around with you. So you don't have to carry on the whole other thing. And it comes with a, a little carabiner. So you could put it onto the case, I guess, connect it up here and or I guess up to this and tie it up to something. Okay, so that's the concept of it. So the way this works is you plug this into your phone. And so, well, first of what you wanna do is install the app or when you plug it into the phone, it kind of, I think it prompts you for the app. So I plugged it into my phone and then it uh, loads the app. And then the first thing you do when it, when it loads the app is you have, then you open up your case and then it will recognize it. And then you put in your right earbud. So you have to put in the right earbud first. Um, and so now I'm connected. So now you're probably hearing me through there anyways. So you put in the right earbud. W once this is already in, you put it in the right earbud and then uh, you open up the app or whatever and then you put in the other earbud. So, um, so you've got both your earbuds in. And then what you are able to do is you have this on the bottom of your phone. Let's pretend that this is my phone. So it's plugged in there. And then you put it down on the table and on the app, you kind of direction. So like I first started off and, and moved the little, uh, pointer thingy as to which direction I'm facing, right? So then I've done that. And then I've set that up, I put it down on the table, and now I've got the little directional setting, whichever way I'm facing. And then if I'm in a room with a lot of people and I wanna hear this guy over here, I turn my head and look over at that guy and it knows because it's using the positioning from the, the, um, the, I, I, the whatever, the, the little, the headphones, the, the AirPod Pros, it knows from the direction that I've moved my head and now it starts to listen to that guy. So then the sound is coming from there. So all these people over here can be talking and I have my noise cancellation on whatever. So I'm not hearing anything there and I'm hearing that guy over there. And then, so if I'm at a big dinner party or something like that, I'm at a big table with a whole lot of people even, I could be sitting there and listen to that guy or that guy or that guy, depending on who I'm looking at, even if there's all these side conversations going on. So it's pretty interesting and pretty cool that you can do that. Um, I've tried it in a few areas. I'm gonna say the sound, it's not gonna be as good as just listening to them directly, um, but it's gonna be a little bit tinny of a sound. Um, it's good for voice. I don't know if I would use this at a concert really. Uh, maybe if you're hard of hearing or something like that, you could get away with it. But if you were at a concert and you're facing the, the, the artist that way, but then if you turn next to the person sitting next to you, I'm guessing you would probably hear them and the artist would then be kind of tuned out and you would just be focused in on their sound. So that might be actually kind of cool if you're at a concert, but it does have a little bit of a tinny sound. So I don't think I would really want to listen to music through them. And I actually use uh, earplugs when I kind of go to the concert just because they're too loud. Um, but, so that's kind of the concept of these things. And it's a really cool little device if you're in at places that are noisy, if you're at a conference or something and people are just busy chit-chatting every, everywhere and you want to pay attention to the speaker on the stage, you'll just kind of face that direction um, and you have your phone out and, this, and the, 
the sound, I guess, is being picked up through this here and then being transmitted through. So as long as this has good uh, line of sight to whoever it is, it would work out good. Or if you had a big conference table, you just set it up on there. Um, so it's just kind of a good uh, thing. I wouldn't say it's necessarily for everybody in the world, but it's good for, why did they change? <laughs> That's funny. It's my uh, gimbal kind of change. But okay, so, but yeah, I don't know if it's good for everybody necessarily, but it seems to work pretty good for me. And so, um, so I'm gonna say I, I like it. It works pretty cool and it was neat. Um, I don't think I will use it, uh, you know, really too often or anything, but I mean, every once in a while, if I go somewhere, I might use it for almost a novelty or fun thing. But for me, it's not so much it, but if you're older or you have problems hearing in directions, that would probably be what it would be good for. And here you can kind of see, it says here where you look. So I was basically explaining it there. There's the little app and you see it's got the little uh, line up there. So that's where you kind of drag it around to wherever you're looking to start with. And then it kind of just synchronizes to where you are. So it's pretty cool. Um, and you can control where you hear. So actually, if you're facing this one, you want to hear from behind you, you could actually rotate that behind you and then you're hearing what's going on behind you while you're facing forward. So you can almost hear a sneaky conversation or something at that point. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Um, neat little device. I'm guessing the version one and two are pretty similar here. Um, I think they, they look almost exactly the same, but I guess they have different electronics that the newer one works a little better uh, than the other one. I mean, I'll show you what it looks like in the box and everything it's almost it's really exactly the same uh same little shape and everything so um but i like it it's kind of cool thumbs up from me um i'll put a link to where you get these things from in the description so if you want to pick one up for yourself you can um and be sure to like my video subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with some other reviews soon thanks for watching so weird the way it moves like that